Hi guys, it's Gav here from DartsPlanet.tv. Thanks for joining me as always. And in today's show, I am going to be giving my prediction from week nine from the SSE Arena in Belfast, which is on the 29th of March from 7 p.m. tomorrow night. I'm sorry this video is a day late. I had to swap things back a little bit. We obviously had Robbie Green on yesterday. For those of you that haven't seen it, it was an awesome video. Please check it out. You'll see it at the end of this video. It, it's a really, really good watch, even if I say so myself. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't going to have Mail Duck on this um, show today because I normally get one of the subscribers on. Unfortunately, he's had problems with his Skype, so I've had to quickly get this video out on my own because I know that loads of you like the prediction uh, shows and so do I. So I needed to get it out today. So let's have a look through the actual um, schedule for the night. The opening uh, game is Mencha Silovic against Gary Anderson. Last week, Mencha Silovic, he was beaten by Daryl Gurney 7-3. Mencha last week had an average of 96.26 and a checkout percentage of 37.5%. While Gary Anderson beat Whitlock comfortably last week 7-4 with a really impressive average, 102.68. He had a checkout of 101 and a checkout percentage of 50 3.85%. Now, this game here, I'm a huge Sulevich fan. He's been playing really, really uh, well um, through the Premier League um, on the whole with like quite a few ton plus averages. But I think Gary Anderson's going to have far too much for this one. Gary Anderson's been cleaning up away from, um, as we know, with the Players' Championships, UK Open. Uh, got a good win last week. He's going to have too much for Sulevich this week. And I think that Gary Anderson's going to win this one I'm going 7-4. Next up, we've got Michael Smith against Gailwin Price. Last week, Michael Smith was beaten easily by MVG 7-2. Um, he only had, again, had an average of 92.41. He's not got, if you actually look at Michael Smith's averages, considering his joint top or at the top of the Premier, he's not got um, the greatest averages, believe it or not. He's actually the second lowest. But he had a 92.41 average, a checkout percentage of just 25%. His highest checkout was only 40. Um, Gerwin Price, as we know, st struggling big time here. Last week, he was thrashed by Rob Cross 7-1. He only had a 92.42 average. His highest checkout was 40, and he had a checkout percentage of 20%, one from five. Michael Smith's going to have far too much for Gerwin Price. Gerwin Price is all over the shop. When early in the um, the European Darts Open again at the weekend. No confidence. Not in the right place at the moment. Michael Smith's going to win this one really comfortably. 7-3. Next up, we see Raymond Van Barneveld against Michael Van Gerwen. Everybody loves this. Uh, Michael Van Gerwen, as we all know, pay Barney huge amounts of respect. And I think that's why these um, matches are really close. Barney obviously gets up for it because he wants to show that he is still or, you know, as good as MVG and for the fans in Holland. Uh, let's have a look what happened last week. Raymond Van Barneveld last week thrashed Peter Wright 7-1. He had a 99.76 average. He had a checkout of 53.85%. 7 from 13. Had a highest checkout of 86. Um, Michael Van Gerwen last week, as just said, he thrashed Michael Smith 7-2. He had 101.56 average. He had a checkout, um, highest checkout of 148. 50% uh, ratio on the, the checkouts as well. This is going to be the match of the night without question. Barney's going to raise his game for it. MVG, obviously, again, he won the European Darts Open at the weekend. Don't matter how far he go behind you. I think he's about 5-1 behind to right at one point. Come back to win that. I am going... At, do you know what? I am going to go for... I'm going to go for a draw. I am going to say it's going to be a 6 all. I must be bad. No, yeah, I'm going to say six all draw. Next up, we have Super Chin against Rob Cross. Super Chin got his first win last week um, against Mencha Sulevich 7 3. He had a 98.63% uh, average. It must have been his birthday present as, as well documented. Um, he had a checkout, highest checkout of 102 and a 53.85% checkout ratio. Rob Cross, as we just said, he thrashed girl in price 7 1, a 102.57 average, highest checkout of 143, 70% checkout, 7 from 10, looking back to the world champion what he is. Uh, as much as Super Chin's going to put up a fight this week, Cross is going to have too much for me, and he is going to win this one. I'm going 7-4. And the last match of the evening, see Simon and Wizard Whitlock against Pete, a snake bite, right? As you all know, my favourite, for those of you that don't know now, I'd say it in 
every video. And he looked awesome after the weekend in the European Darts Open. What was all the talk about and the worry about? He is going to be back here um, in the Premier League. Um, hopefully he's going to use them like the Mamba Darts or the ones that he get on really well with. Not going to fiddle about with his equipment too much and he's going to be on fire. Let's have a look how they got on last week. Simon Whitlock last week, um, he lost 7-4 to Anderson. Um, but he had an average of 104.13, 36.36% on the, the checkout percentage as well. So Whitlock played awesome last week. Right, as we know, was all over the shop at sea. The worry was setting in. He only had an average of 88.18. He got fresh 7-1 by uh, Raymond Van Barneveld. His highest checkout was 40. He only hit one from six in his uh, checkouts as well, in his doubles was 16.67. So this match tells you that Simon Whitlock is going to win this one regardless of what happened at the weekend. Wrong. I am going. Peter Wright is going to win this one. He is going to win it this week and he's going to get himself out of that relegation place. And he's going to win it quite comfortably. I am going for Peter Wright to beat Simon Whitlock 7-7. Free. You heard it here first, 7 free. So there you go. So that is week nine from the SS Arena in Belfast, which is on Thursday the 29th of March, tomorrow night from 7 pm. I hope you enjoyed the, the show. Apologies again that Mail Duck wasn't on air today. Hopefully, going to get him on next week. As always, the Darts Fantasy um, Prediction site, 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 site is all open uh, for the predictions this week. If you haven't joined already, please do join. It's 100% free. The more people you tell, you can see all of the details there. Go to www.fantasydarts.tv. And even if you've missed the first few weeks, just have some good banter and get involved and add your prediction this week. There's loads and loads of good prizes coming up. You heard it here first. There is going to be, I've got a win more signed shirt on the way to give away to one of you guys. So... You heard it here. Um, also, just before I go, please, please check out uh, dartsplanet.tv. It's where all my videos go, the latest news. I've got some fantastic bloggers that I've teamed up with um, that are letting you know about the latest tournaments and different things. So loads and loads of information on there. If you do like my channel, please leave a big like. Uh, don't forget to turn your notifications on and hit that subscribe button. I'm going to catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.